So in this video, I'm going to be talking about template strings. And with these, you can write HTML in JavaScript, just like you would as if it were a HTML file, and then have it rendered as HTML to the DOM. And the great thing about template strings is you get the best of both HTML and JavaScript because you can dynamically insert JavaScript data and expressions into the HTML template that you are writing. So you may be aware that you can already write HTML to the DOM using a string literal like this and then rendering it to the DOM as HTML by using the inner HTML method. So I'm going to call document body in a HTML and then input my string here. And this is going to be rendered to the DOM as HTML. Now, just to prove that is rendering as HTML to the DOM, I'm going to add a H1 tag here. And now you'll see that that is being rendered as a H1 element. Now, some people worry about using the inner HTML method. It's actually fine to use for templating with content that is static or from a secure source, but you should be careful when using the method with user input, as this does present a potential security risk. So if you want to learn more about that, I have an entire video and that should be appearing, a link to that should be appearing on your screen now. I've also written a blog piece and I will place a link to that in the description below. But returning to our example, you can see that this works perfectly fine. We have a single line uh, of HTML and it's being rendered to the DOM correctly. But we soon run into problems using a string literal for this. So first of all, let's say I want to place the term string literal inside uh, quotation marks, so single quotation marks. And as you can see here, this isn't working. What's happening is because I'm using single quotation marks, JavaScript thinks I'm trying to end the string, so it's escaping the string. We've got string literal here, which refers to nothing that I have in JavaScript, and then it's restarting the string. So one way I can get around that is to use double quotation marks, but that's forcing me into using double quotation marks, and that's not a great solution. But one way I can prevent this and continue using single quotation marks is to use a backslash before each of the single quotation marks, and that will now hopefully render properly. If I look at the DOM, now the term string literal is in single quotation marks. So the first issue with writing HTML in a string literal is the escaping. The second one is what happens if I want to create a new line. So the way that I do that is first of all, for a new line, I use backslash n. Then I have to completely escape the string plus and then start a new, a brand new string on a new line. And these will be merged together at runtime. So what I'm going to do in my string down here is say writing a string literal over two lines is messy and close that. So that's in a paragraph element. So that should be rendering correctly. Okay, I forgot to close the H1 tag. Hopefully that's all working fine now. So this is rendering to the DOM perfectly fine, but our syntax is getting quite messy and it's actually a very simple string over two lines. If this were longer, it would be getting really complex. Now the final problem in writing HTML templates with a string literal is what if you want to insert dynamic content. So what I'm going to do is create an array up here with some data in it. I'm going to replace the term string literal, both instances of it, and also the term messy. So I'm going to create those bits of data in the array. Like this. Now, the way that I insert content dynamically in a string literal is I have to completely end the string, so escape the string, 
then I have to concatenate so this string with the data that I want to display and then again concatenation with and then it's a new string and then concatenate with the string down below. Now I still have uh, two more bits of dynamic content to insert so I do that in the same way. Okay, so hopefully that is working now. Okay, that's working just fine, but we've only got a two line template here and it's already getting, the syntax is already getting quite complex and it would be hard to maintain. Let's do exactly the same thing using a template literal. So I'll create a new variable down here in which I'll store my template literal. Now the way that we create a template literal is we open and close using backticks. The great thing about using backticks is we very rarely use them in text content. So this means that we only escape if there's backticks in our text. So watch out for that. But the more common double quotation marks and single quotation marks, now they don't lead to an escape. So I can write the h1 element and I can place the uh, template literal um, text in quotation marks and it's not going to escape. Okay, the next problem that we had with a string was new line. So how do we do that with a template literal? Well, we just press return. Okay, so the great thing is we can write HTML in JavaScript, just like we would in a HTML file. So that won't be anything new for you, I expect. Now, if I refresh the browser, that should be working. Okay, seems like I have created an error. Okay, so I'm still trying to write the string which I commented out to the DOM. Now I replace that with template literal and hopefully it's working. Writing a template literal over two lines is easy and there was an exclamation mark at the end there. Now finally there was the issue of inserting dynamic content. When we were using a string literal we had to do this really messy ending of the string, concatenating and then restarting a string what we can do with a template literal is something called interpolation. And the way that works is we use this syntax. It's dollar sign and then curly brackets. And then inside of the curly brackets, we specify what data we want to insert. It can even be an expression, in which case it will insert the return value of the expression into the template. So I need to do this twice for template literal and once for this term. And I need to change the data in the array. So now we're inserting the data dynamically. We're not actually escaping the template literal here. We're using interpolation to dynamically insert it. So if you compare the two, we're doing exactly the same thing. You can see it's much easier to read like this. It reads much more like HTML, whereas it's sort of hard to tell what the output of this is going to be. So I'm going to comment that out again and just show you that the template literal is hopefully rendering correctly to the DOM, so yes. So to demonstrate the power of template literals in this respect, I've created a second uh, more complex example where I've written an entire HTML template for a news article using a template literal. So I open with backticks and then I write all of my HTML just like I would in a HTML document and then I render it to the DOM using the inner HTML method. So if I refresh, you'll see here 
I haven't actually inserted the content here. I just have text placeholders for each of the elements. What I'm going to do is dynamically insert this from the data object I have up here. So you can do this if you're contacting an API, you can create a template like this for a news item or a blog entry, whatever it is you get back from the API, and then you can insert the data that is returned like this. So the way that I do this, just like I showed you before, is to input the data using standard JavaScript syntax. Now, if I render that to the DOM, that's now dynamically inserting data from this data object into my HTML template, which is actually quite complex. If I tried doing this using a string, this would be a complete nightmare to write and maintain. It's much, much cleaner using this template literal feature. And there you can see the contents being rendered to the DOM. So as a final example, I have a tip calculator that, in, that needs some expressions in order to display the correct output. So here's the total amount, here's the tip amount as a decimal, and then there are three bits of dynamic content to enter into this template literal. So the total is something, the tip amount is something, and the suggested tip amount is something. So total is very easy. We can just input total here, that's going to return the value 100. Um, and we can actually put a dollar sign here before that. And the tip amount, this is going to be a percentage. So I need to convert this decimal into an integer, and I want that integer to be 20. So the way that I could do that is to say tip, and I would need to times it by uh, 100 to get there and then I want it to be a round number with no decimal points so I can s apply the two fixed method entering zero there and that should work I should really wrap this so it's self-contained and that should now be working hopefully but before we look at what it's rendering I need to enter the tip amount so the tip amount is going to be total times tip, so. Now, let's see what's rendering to the DOM. The total is $100, the tip amount is 20%, the suggested tip is 20, so there should actually be a dollar sign before there, and that is that should now be working correctly. So the reason I wanted to show you this example is because you can see that we're now entering entire expressions not just data and the return value of these expressions is what's being rendered to the DOM. So this can be extremely useful if you've got some data like we have here and you want to modify it in some way before it is input into the DOM. So this can be extremely useful if you want to modify the data in some way before it's rendered to the DOM without making the calculation or changing the original data. So with template literals, we really do have the best of both worlds, writing HTML like it is a HTML file, combined with the power of JavaScript to dynamically insert data and expressions.